Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to grow and take care for the Farbena plant. As you can see this is one Farbena seedling and I am going to update the same video until flowering so please make sure to watch the full video and this way you are going to learn everything about Farbena in a single video. I am going to use a 6 inches of plastic pot and in this pot I would be growing only one plant but if you are going to use much bigger pot let's say 12 inches or even 18 inches that, that time you can definitely grow two to three different plants in the same pot. Only you have to make sure that you are keeping a gap of at least six to eight inches in between two different plants. As you can see my pot has lots of drainage holes so I kept a broken pieces of the clay pot on the drainage holes so that water can drain out well. So whatever pot you are taking please make sure that it has at least one drainage hole and keep something on the drainage hole so that water can drain out well. You can use any hard object or even stones as well. You can also see that I have filled my pot with the potting soil mix and for that I am taking this way. 40% of garden soil, 30% of cocoa peat and rest 30% of vermicompost. Instead of vermicompost, you can also use homemade compost or even cow dung powder, I mean compost cow dung powder. And instead of cocoa peat, you can also use river sand. I have also added near about 25 grams of neem cake powder to the potting soil mix and if you are going to use neem cake powder for the first time please be bit careful and please don't add more than 25 to 30 grams per plant. While filling the pot with the potting soil mix please press the soil very gently with your hand or any other tool so that air pockets are removed. For the same purpose you can also tap the pot if you like or please don't do it if you are using a clay pot and while filling the pot please make sure to keep a gap of at least half to one inches in between the top layer of the soil and surrounding the rim and only that way you are going to water your plant properly before transplanting the seedling i am just going to pre-wet the soil a bit and i am doing it so that i don't hurt my seedling by watering later now taking out the baby seedling from the tiny pot. Now making a hole in the center and then gently keeping the seedling. Now just press the soil very gently and while transplanting please make sure not to bury the main stem otherwise the baby seedling might rot. As you can see everything is done it's really very simple and now I am going to keep the pot in a bright area for next few days and then only I am going to move the pot to a place where it will be getting lots of direct sunlight. After 40 days and you can see that my Farbena plant has already started blooming. Today I am going to fertilize my plants and that's why I just thought to update the video. To fertilize I am going to use multiplex garden mixer along with the farmy compost. I am really not sure whether you will be getting this fertilizer in your place or not. So I would be giving you some other ways to fertilize your plants as well. And please also note that I am not at all promoting this brand. I am just getting good result after applying these fertilizers and that's why I am going to apply on my Farbena plants too. Before applying the fertilizers, I am just going to remove the surrounding soil from the pot. I will be removing near about half inches to one inches of the soil. I am going to use 10 grams of multiplex garden mixer. And then 10 grams of barmy compost. Please note that you can also use compost the cow dung powder instead of barmy compost. Now let me give you some more alternative ways to fertilize your plants. So the number one alternative would be you can apply near about 40 to 50 grams of either farmy compost or compost cow dung powder once in a 20 to 30 days. If possible please also add near about 10 grams of bone meal powder. And the second alternative would be you can apply NPK 191919 and to apply that take half teaspoon of NPK mix it into 1 liter of water and then apply on the soil once in a 15 to 20 days. So I have given you three different ways to fertilize your plants and hopefully you will be able to apply only one method. While talking about sunlight requirements, see try to provide them at least 5 to 6 hours of direct sunlight and that way you are going to get lots of blooms. 
sadly in my case i am able to provide them only three hours of direct sunlight and hopefully they are going to bloom well in coming few days the second important thing that you need to look for i mean while growing the verbena is to watering see they don't need lots of water so always let the top one inches or even half inches soil dry out in between watering anyway verbena blooms in the winter season in india and if you are growing like me you don't have to water them for two to three days i am watering them once in a three days Updating the video after 57 days and this is what I was expecting to show you at the end of the video. As you can see most of my favela plants are blooming really nicely and I am extremely glad that I am able to show you lots of colors and blooms. I have already discussed most of the important things with you like sunlight requirements, water requirements and fertilizing your verbena plants but still there are two other things that I need to discuss with you. So the next thing is protecting your plants from different kind of pest attack. For that, you can apply neem oil once in 7 to 10 days. It's really very easy. Just take near about 5 to 6 ml of neem oil, 4 ml of light hand wash, mix them into 1 liter of water and then spray your plants. By the way, I have a video where I have shown the entire process and you can check out that video simply clicking on the i button on top right corner and you can also get the link to that video in the description box as well. And the last important thing is deadheading. Deadheading means simply removing the already spent blooms. But the good news is you don't need to deadhead your verbena, they are going to manage themselves. Let me show you, as you can see, these blooms are already spent, I did not remove it and you can see that two new shoots came up and it's blooming again. But still I would say that if you want, you can deadhead your verbena plants just to make it look much more attractive. And another important thing that you need to do is, I mean you may like to do is pruning your verbena plants. If your plants are growing somewhat leggy way, that time definitely you can prune them and they are going to grow in a bushier way. So guys, this is all about how to grow and care for the verbena plants and I really hope you found this video useful. If the video was useful to you, please don't forget to like the video, share the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and many many thanks for doing that. For any questions or any feedback, please use the comment box section. Thank you once again for watching the video. Have a great day. Enjoy.